Hey guys, it's Ellen here and we're painting another Winter Wonderland. Um, probably because it's going to snow 18 inches where I live <laughs> today. Um, this is a super easy, again, another doing another easy step-by-step -step, uh, winter tutorial. So don't feel like you can't do this. You could totally do this. Um, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when tutorials are up. And I'll check the Patreon on Thursdays. I have exclusive tutorials and tutorials there. Paceable for this today. This is just having fun with paint and paper and some technique. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and let's get started. Okay, to start, we'll just go over supplies. I have taped down with scotch tape on just a cheap piece of cardboard, a six by nine inch piece of um, arch is 100% cotton, cold pressed paper, my water jars, my paper towel, my various brushes. I'll be working with the Princeton number 12 Neptune and the number four long round. I don't think I'll be working with the eight today. Various colors like Prussian blue, peacock blue, magenta, um, white gouache for the end. You know, this palette I have here is just, I, I, you know, I left a little empty in the middle, but I just like all the, the dry different colors. I mean, it's my thing. I love it. And, um, you know, clearing a palette all the time is great, but I just love to keep the nooks and crannies. So if you have a palette like this, this is great. Even if it's dried, we can reactivate it with the paint brushes. So for this exercise, super easy. I have the other super easy winter watercolor tutorial. This one's going to be a little bit different, not the greens, more grays, like a gray snowy day. We're going to do like a reflection, um, like an, on the icy water. So to start, I just sketched out basically, you know, just a little area where I want the snow to be. So just basically like we don't halfway down, it's not staying here, pushing this down, halfway down, but going down into like an angle here and then pulling back here and then pulling back again and like that. And you'll see as we paint, as we go along. So to begin with, I think I'll just get it all wet. Not all the whole paper, I'm sorry. The, the top half area where the sky is gonna be. Just with water. Take my big brush and I'm just gonna fill that all in with some water. And this is gonna be a similar method that we did before with the very popular winter watercolor easy tutorial. Trying to make these pretty easy for some people. And seeing all the posts that I saw on Instagram, it seems like you all did amazing jobs and you know you added things or did it either the same or added different things which is amazing. So here I'm going to flip the paper this way and I'm mixing up some grays and I'm going to take my peacock blue, I'm sorry my, is this peacock? I think that's peacock blue, yep. Mix my magenta, Maybe my Prussian blue, magenta here. I'm gonna get this like ultramarine. I'm gonna add some paints gray or black. And I'm getting this gray color that I want. More like a purpley gray. And like I said, you doesn't have to be the same color all the time. I keep telling you guys this. Mix up whatever color tones you want. But I'm doing like a purpley gray. And then I'm just gonna take this little guy and I'm just gonna Plug in some of the color right in here on the edge. It's going to bleed down a little bit. Going to be making, going to add some more darker tones maybe out here. Just like that. And then make me want purple with that. Magenta. So if it starts to puddle down here, you can just kind of lift it up with your brush and just dab it on the paper towel. This one is not really kind of moving down as much as I want it to. I kind of want it to fill the whole paper, but then get darker over here. So we're going to go back in again with the color. A little bit darker. I'm going to go add some more of that purplish gray color. It's a little too purple. I'll go in and add a little more browns and blacks to it. Just doing like these little mounds, if you want to call it that. Let's see? And remember, this puddle down here, you just grab your paper towel or whatever you have to use 
just wipe it up. Just wipe up that area. So you want it to bleed again, to like the little trees again. And I might go back in again and add an even darker color. So I'm just dabbing that in, just in the edge. I'm gonna flip it over and see how I like it. From here, I can go in and add just a few more dabs of the color will still bleed out. Maybe a couple little ones down here. So we got this like nice structure for where we want our trees to go. I'm thinking I'm liking the color. And remember, it will die, I mean, excuse me, it will dry lighter. So if you really want it a little bit darker, you're gonna have to add some darker paint in there. Gonna add a little more dark paint here. Just playing around with this. And I suggest, um, if you want to speed up your eye, you can use the, the hair dryer. But to get the color, this nice pretty bleed, just let it dry naturally. And so you're going to have to wait a bit, you know, which is fine. But that's what I would suggest, because otherwise it will dry kind of on a hard edge. It won't have this beautiful bleed to it. And you want it to have that nice bleed. And like I said, clean up the edges here where the tape is. A little paper towel if it's bleeding paint and on the edge over here let's take that paint up a little bit all right so we've got that part the mystical mystical tree <laughs> taking the same brush and similar colors and I, I told you I, I left this part this little zigzag kind of thing we're gonna stick in uh, the water part same colors maybe add a little couple of darker ones here and there so I'm gonna go in I'm just going to put this right in here like this, this little zigzag, right? Just like that. I'm going to add a little more blue, actually. It's like a little too purple for me. A little, a little black, a little more grayish blue. But you kind of want to match these colors because they're supposed to be reflecting. Just go in there and add that. Just wet on dry. Just Throw that in there. I might lift up some of the paint over here on the edge. And then go back in and add some of that color that you used before. That purpley gray. See, I'm, mixing up, I'm mixing up some more of that color here. That grayish purple color. Just gonna tap it close, just right in here. Closer to the way the snow is gonna meet. And it will bleed down. And here, I'm going to do a little more out here. Some darker tones out here. Right in this crevice. It's going to it's gonna dry lighter. Don't be afraid. And some more just tapping with the brush. Just in the edge by that snowy area. Making these lines to go down because I'm going to be adding trees. So it should reflect the trees. So this is pretty damp. But it's reflecting what's going on here. And I want it a little bit darker again on the edge. So I'm going to get less watery, you know, like a little bit thicker. This paint. See, get a little bit thicker, less water. Trying to get rid of that. Take some water out and just tap it in again. Really dark. And on the edge in here. Okay. It's still damp. Go ahead and add some more color if you want to, darker too. While it's still damp, it's going to bleed this nice bleed. Even more that mystical dark color that matches this one. So we're just having fun here, playing with this tapping here scenario. Okay, 
I'm also going to have this cadmium yellow deep here. Get rid of some of this green. It's turned green. This blue is hitting it. And my little number four Princeton long round. I'm going to mix some of this yellow with some browns tones. I have the Van Dyke brown. Make it like a grass color. And not super wet. See, it's very, very, just a little bit of water. And I'm just going to make these little grasses going up like here. See, just the movement. Over in here, too. Oops. A little bit more water, actually. might want to lift it up a little bit put a little bit of yellow right there so it's reflecting in the water and again just adding some more grasses here and there you can put some up front if you want just a couple of little ones out here and by the water again. Don't overdo it. Just a, 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 like a little bit is enough. You can get crazy with grass. All right, so then while that's still drying, we actually can use our big brush or our medium brush, whatever you want to use. I have this 12 again, and it could take the Princeton number eight long round. I'm gonna grab some of this blue grays that I have. Add a little more blue to that. I'm just going to wish in some color. I call it wishing in. Get it really wet because you want it kind of light. Taking up some more paint. I'm just going to kind of dabble. See I'm just holding on inside. Just making the little dabbing marks. Really simple. Up here, close to where the trees will go. We're just kind of painting as we're waiting for the other part to dry. And a few more in here. Don't get it too far down to this area. So at this point, I think I'm going to let it dry. We could add a couple of, like, with the smaller brush, a couple of little darker tones hitting next to the uh, grasses. So I'm going to add some like deeper. Just be careful when it bleeds a little bit. And a variety of the color. A little more open here. And up in here. So at this point, I'm going to let it dry. Oops, see, get over there and it wrecked my little beautiful bloom. See, it hit that. That's all right. I'll fix it. Just have to go back in. Add some of that color again. So, fix my little mistake. See, I got too close to that edge and it ruined my little bloom. But I'm going to fix it. I'm just going to go like this. This one might have a hard edge, but that's okay. I'll probably fix it with the tree when it goes in there. Sometimes it happens. I'm going to add another one over here so it doesn't feel like it's lonely. <laughs> Still damp, you can try and do another darker one down here. Just touched it because it was making sure if it was damp or not. I'm going to add another darker one kind of out here. And 
It's still bleeding nicely. I can flip this over. That one doesn't want to cooperate. See, it's puddling there. So you could take a little paper towel. Just kind of lift that. It might have a little hard edge to it, but it would look uni different and unique, you know. Adding some more darker tones. Again. Why not? So those ones will be darker because they'll have the hard edge. And like I said, you could take a little paper towel and just kind of like, you don't have to follow this. Obviously, just keep the way it was going before. And since I made my mistake, I'm showing you how you can kind of fix it. And I'm just going to go in and add just this little tap of the paper towel and just get a little whiteness, a little texture to it. So it's just different ways to do it. But if you just left the way it was before, you would have been fine too. Then me screwing that up and tapping that. I like to paint my tutorials real time. I don't want to keep altering it. And um, I don't know if it seems fake or not, but like just it's real. It's what happens when you're painting. Happy accidents. Actually, I'm kind of liking this. So I might add another deeper tune still. In here, and then that's completely dry, so that won't really work. Okay, that's fine. I'll just tap that out with a paper towel. All right, so we're going to let this dry completely, and then we're going to come back and we're going to add in the fun little winter trees. One thing to note: I wanted to do, I didn't do it, which I was completely blanking on, was the the splattering of the um, white gouache with these guys like I did with the other tutorial. So that's okay if we didn't do that. We're gonna do it anyway at the end. Um, normally I would have done All right, so now that it's dry, I'm gonna grab my little skinny number four brush. And I'm gonna grab this uh, grayish black tone, brown. And we're gonna make some trees. And you're just going to basically take your brush, it's very skinny, and you're just going to make little trees going up. You know? Oops, that's paper towel. It's not cooperating. So, just making the little spiky, I don't know, call them spiky. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. So, you know, a tree is kind of not symmetrical you just make these little teeny branches coming off the tree have them crisscross going out little teeny branches i'll have another one right next to it just make really teeny skinny little branches on the top over here What we're going to be doing is covering it with snow. See, I'm just putting in little branches. And putting like a little, little one peeking through down here. It's bending out that way. More trees. Just a few. You can put as many as you want. I might you don't don't want to overdo it. And you know, change the variety of like the thickness and thinness. As it's going out towards this little part here, that's you can see obviously it's like a mound. You're gonna make less noticeable the branches. Kind of like they're fading off in the distance. So you want a really good brush that has a nice point to it. Just 
just like that. And I'm getting right down in here. Like I said, add as many as you want. I'm going to keep adding some more trees out this way. Kind of like they're coming from the ground outward. Just like that. You can make them leaning. I have some leaning ones over here. So I'm just putting in the tree trunks. All of the branches. This is very therapeutic. Don't you find like making little teeny branches very therapeutic? I don't know about you, but I do. And then it can make the part of the trunk a little bit thicker going down. Just going in here like that. You might throw some little, kind of like bush trees down here in the bottom. See like that, just little bushy ones. Just gonna go in and fill in all these areas that I want for trees. Just gonna add some little bush trees down here. All these little branches. Like I said, you could spend days upon days making little branches. The little joys of painting. It's really helpful to have a tiny little brush with a good point. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to do all my little trees and then we're going to come back. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to go back in with Maybe a little bit of that purple, maybe add a little um, brown. Hold on a second. I've got my Princeton 8 long round now, so I have some Bendek brown mixed with some purple, that gray color, and a little bit of blue. Test it and see how I like the color. So we're going to kind of wash out some of the branches. Get it pretty watery. Just like over in here. Can add the color behind it. Just like this. I know it seems crazy you painted those branches, but you can kind of wash them out. Just a little bit. This is a layering kind of tutorial. Just see, I'm just dabbing the brush, just like that. All over. Grab some brownish tones, some of that golden yellow tones. Put some of that in here. Might, might end up looking a little green, but that's okay. Okay, we're just going to do a couple more here of this bluish, grayish color on the trees. And then we're going to let that dry. While that's drying, we can go back in here where our little snow is and add a little deeper tone again where the trees are coming downward. Just like the brush going to like that. Oops. Grab 
grabbing some of that purpley bluish gray again. I'm just making these little lines for the shadowing in the grass. Just doing this whooshing effect gives a little dry brush. Just holding it on the side like this and it has this dry brush effect. Okay, Got a few more in here. We'll do it darker. A little bit on the edge here. It's over in here. Just like that. Okay, now I might go in and throw a little bit darker tones right in here where the ice would be, the icy water. So take those same combination that we kind of did out here, just a little bit darker, even still. I'm just going to go in here right in the edge where it meets the snow. It's a little bit like that. Okay. Not too much, you know, just a little bit. We'll just push, push some of it across. like that that color just wash it down a little bit and push it across like that and now see I'm just pushing it across like that just a little bit now we're going to take our white gouache you could use the small brush the bigger brush whatever mine's a little puddled now with the blues next to it if it's a little bit bluish gray that's fine make these little lines going across straight I have to hold mine this way because I can do it properly not everywhere just here and there a little bit out here and it looks icy. This part kind of a little weird, so I'm going to go back in with my color. Just wash right over that. Okay, so then we can splatter some snow now because we're going to paint... Well, we're going to paint some trees, we can still splatter the snow. Or we could paint the trees first. I think this isn't dry yet. But it doesn't really matter. We can take some... Um, concentrated gouache. Mine's looking a little bluish. Gotta get rid of some of this paint next to it. So grab your brush, grab some white gouache. Get a little loose, not super loose. And we're just gonna tap some snow on top of these trees. I actually want you to water down just a little bit. That's a little too concentrated, so I'm going to tap it off my paper towel. I want a little bit watered down. There we go. So it's got a little water in it, so it blends just on the tip of top of these trees. When you put a little water in the gouache, it's like watercolor. So I'm just doing the top. I'm going to kind of wash it out. Put a little water hitting the tops of the trees. And I'm just going to go like that. Just a simple tapping. on all the little trees. See, I'm not doing anything special. We'll go back in and add some more concentrated white, but right now we're just tapping in 
See, like this is a little more concentrated. See, we're just tapping in little teeny taps on the branches. I have this really cool look to it. And you could put some actually literally like they're on the branches. I know that's time consuming, but it's a great effect. But right now I'm just tap, 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 tap. Kind of washing in the white on top of the tree. And over here. And like I said, this can be kind of cool too. You just stick your little brush, go on all the little branches. And it's a really pretty effect. We do a combination of both of them. Like it's on the branch and it's just a mound on the tree. So like all these little branches down here, you can add your white gouache on them. I know, like I said, it's a little time consuming, but it's so pretty. See, I'm just adding on the little branches. A little snow, the ones down here, the little teeny ones we did down the, down the bottom here. It's good to make some little, like little bushes, little bush branches down here. The snow has fallen. Um, we're getting about 18 inches, seen tonight and tomorrow. I like that for about a day, and it would be nice if it was around Christmas. And then I'm going to lose my mind because it turns into like the gross, disgusting brown snow. <laughs> what people think about when they think about New England in the snow. And then it doesn't turn into that eventually. I see all this paint is puddling into my gouache. So it's making kind of not s super white, which is kind of nice, a little less white. And then you can go back in on some of these branches and add the concentrated. See, I'm just tapping in some of the concentrated gouache. So you get that like washy gray white, and then you can go in on all the little branches and add some of the white gouache. Just really pretty. Just tap it like that. Snowy winter trees. Got an abstract kind of like, you know, you could put some down on here on the little grasses too. And then we're gonna splatter some gouache, of course, because why not? You could actually, okay, take your little brush and you can put in some little white trees too. I'm gonna get rid of this purple color that keeps bleeding into it. You can put some little white teeny trees. I just love those little white trees. As you notice, I've been painting a lot of them. <laughs> but why not? Add the white trees with the blue, with the black trees. Some white branches peeking through up here. Let's just go f have fun with this. You guys did a phenomenal job with the other winter easy tutorial. So I know you guys can do this one. See if you put that white just in that like the little branch right there. It just adds a little something special to it. And you can add the little white trees or not add the white trees, the little grasses. Why not? Right? It's pretty. Little ones down here. It's peeking through at the distance. But I really like the snow right on top of the little branches. So if you make some nice big bold branches and add the white right on there. So now I'm gonna grab some more white gouache because I'm running out. We're gonna do our snow because you know we like to play with snow. Get it pretty loose. The bigger the brush, the bigger the snow. So I'm using that big 12 Princeton long round. Oh, excuse me, 12 Princeton Neptune brush. So tapping in. Oh, that made too many big drops. There we go. You might want to water that color down a bit and tap it on my paper towel. And let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And on, of course, the ice. And 
it's, it's just you can get a little closer towards the white trees and then splatter outward see that has this really cool look to it snow 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 this is just so therapeutic i'm telling you if you're so mad at what's going on in the world just make some snow <laughs> i know guys i'm crazy but it's true i can't stand it anymore let's see if i pull it out i'm gonna see if I pull it out. yeah a little snowy i'm gonna add just a little bit I'm going to take my brush as I'm standing up. Take some of that white gouache. I feel like I want to make this snow kind of continue a little more down here. So I'm going to grab some more white gouache. Look a little too pointy, not natural. So it's a little watered down gouache, but I'm going to just move the mound a little bit out here. See, it makes a little difference. I kind of like that better. And I can go back in and add streaks of the ice. Like I said, be sporadic with it. Don't do crazy town with the streaks. It's fake. And if you feel like your snow got out of control over in here, you can go in and add some gouache and then cover it up. I love gouache. See? It's looking a little too weird blue right there, so I'm just going to go in. Go right on top of that, because I can. <laughs> but it does achieve the look that I was Just this wintry, snowy... I see, you know, scene, and I put some more grass right over in here, actually. More brown grass. It's a good thing to step back from your stuff and see how it looks. When I step back, I can see one more grass there. A little bit darker tones on the bottom of the grass. And you know, a couple of grasses over here. And then I'll add some of that blue coming from the grass. Shadow. It was purple. more streaks up this way you gotta do the little tweaks at this point you know you go in and add some darker shadows connecting to the trees it just adds some more drama and there you go well, let's lift this baby up and see what we got walking in I went to God, my fingernails are small. I can't lift the teeth. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ah. Here we go. Walking in a winter one land. This is just something you can do for yourself, or you can give to a card or whatever. Or decor. I think it's just pretty and simple. What do you think? So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the, hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. Um, and also don't forget to check out my Patreon on Thursday. I have exclusive tutorials on there. Uh, my Patreon members in the middle taking up. It's the tables, but um, the exclusive ad for videos and tutorials are in the middle and up tiers. And uh, that's that. And also don't forget to check out my uh, amazing art channel. I did a new demo there yesterday. I'm trying to get back on that channel. It's been hard to do everything with the holidays. So thanks guys so much. And like just notice over here. As I'm rambling, 
I want to fix that snowy part. It just looks a little fake. So I'll just go back in here and tweak it. Yeah. And then I can go in and add some color too. But you know, you play around with all this stuff. Thanks guys for stopping by my channel. I appreciate you so much. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.